first take some sample problem and work them out. The first one says an object is placed 10 meters from a pinhole camera of length 25 cm. Calculate the linear magnification. For the solution, um, solution. My first task is to list out given parameters. So what am I giving them? Say, an object is placed 10 meters. The object is placed 10 meters. That means the object is 10 meters away. Hence, you can say the first we are giving them is the object distance. So, object distance, which we said is u, is equal to 10 meters. Now, observe we said. We said when it comes to optics, we use our distances in centimeters and not meters. So hence, if I'm giving this as 10 meters, I have to convert it to centimeters. And I will do that by multiplying it to 100. That becomes 10 times 100, and that's equal to 1,000 centimeters. So I've converted u to be equal to 1,000 in centimeters. All right, next thing we say is from a pinhole camera of length 25 cm. Now, please note this, please. Note this that the length of a pinhole camera is equal to the image distance. Please note it. So whenever you're solving questions on jump optics and you see length of pinhole camera, always note that the length of a pinhole camera is equal to image distance. So number two, I'm given length of pinhole camera that becomes image distance v as equal to 25 cm all right we have to find magnification we know that magnification m is equal to image distance all over object distance observe this one is already in cm so i'm not converting so it becomes 25 all over 1000. This gives you um, 0 0.025, okay, which in index form gives you 2.5 times 10 to the power from here, 1, 2, minus 2. So remember, we said um, magnification has no SI unit. So the answer is 2.5 times 10 to the power minus 2, which is option. Either. All right, let's look at yet another question. This question says the focal length of a concave mirror is 2.0 cm. If an object is placed 8 cm from it, the image is at what? All right, let's stop this piece. Solution. Let's list our given parameters. We are given number one. We said the focal length of a concave view. So concave view, focal length, the focal length, focal length is small f is equal to 2.0 cm. Alright, number two, we said the object is placed 8.0 cm. That becomes the distance in which the object is placed. Hence, Object distance, so object distance that's uh, u equal to 8.0 cm. Finally, they ask the image is a dash, so image distance that's v is equal to unknown. Oh, let's get image distance. So, how do you get this now? Let's recall solution. Let's recall, let's recall the mirror formula that 1 over f equals 1 over u plus 1 over v. In this case, this is a concave mirror. So this one still becomes positive. So that is correct. So let's include values. I have 1 all over f, 2, 2.0 is equal as 2, is equal to 1 all over u is 8 plus 1 all over v. Next, I'll move this over here. I have 1 over 2 plus comes and becomes minus 1 over 8 is equal to 
1 over b. Take LCM here. The L2 of 2 and 8 is um, 8. Okay? So 8 over 2. 8 divided by 2 gives you 4. 4 times 1 is 4. Minus 8 divided by 8 gives you 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Is equal to 1 over b. Alright. So 4 minus 1 gives you 3. All over 8 is equal to 1 over v. If I cross multiply this times this, I have 3 times v is equal to 1 times 8. So 3v is equal to 8. So v is equal to 8 over 3 in centimeter. So that's the answer. So 8 over 3, um, that's my answer. The options are in decimal, so we're just going to punch 8 over 3 with the calculator and so we get so v is equal to uh, 8 over 3 with the calculator gives you 2.666 that's 2.7 centimeter so the image is at 2.7 centimeters so that would be option d 2.7 all right let's try another question all right so let's look at yet another question it says Mr. Roland observed his image through a plane mirror, kept a distance away from him at 4.7 meters in his room. At what distance is the image found from Roland's eye? Now, this question observed that the mirror there is called a plane mirror. And what we discussed plane mirror, we said one of the characteristics of a plane mirror is that the object is at equal distance um, from the mirror as the image. So it's like this. Uh, here's what to note. Let's say I have this as a ground level and I have this as a plane mirror. So in this case now, this is now my plane mirror. So this is my plane mirror. Um, plane mirror. If I have an image here, let's say I have this point here, let's say I have an image here at this point. If I have, um, call, this, call this image, if I have an image here, the distance from here to here, this is x, then the same thing to the object will be somewhere here, such that the distance between the object and the plane mirror, this is the object, the object here will also be at the same distance x from the plane mirror. So this is um, like, this is how our uh, plane mirror behaves. So if this is true, the question now says this, it says Mr. Roland observed his image. That means in this case now, this is where Mr. Roland is standing. So Mr. Roland becomes the object in this case. So I'll call this M for Mr. Roland. Observe his image. So his image is here. He said, through a plane mirror, kept at a distance of 4.7 meters in his room. So the distance between the plane mirror and Mr. Roland is 4.7 meters. I'm having here as 4.7 meters. All right. So Mr. Roland here is seeing a plane mirror, uh, uh, an image through a plane mirror kept at 4.7 meters, of course, from him, which is the object. The question now says, at what distance is the image found from Roland's eye? So what's the distance between the image and Roland's eye? If Roland is standing here, just as I'm standing here like this now, my eye is still at my same distance. That means Mr. Roland's eye will still be here, this same distance will give you Mr. Roland's eye. So this is where Mr. Roland's eye will be. And it said the image, of course, is here, um, here this way. Of course, I have my plane mirror here. It said, at what distance is the image found from Roland's eye? So from Mr. Roland's eye up to this point, what is this value? This value here. What is this value? We said from here to here is x. From here to here is x. So hence, if from here to here is 4.7 meters, it means that from here to here is another, uh, it should be similar to the center here, for precision sake, 
4.7 from here to here should also be 4.7 meters that's the concept of a plane view all right the image is far back or far away from the plane view as the object so therefore distance between the plane view between the image and mr roland's eye comes from here to here 4.7 meters plus from here to here 4.7 meters if i combine this to this gives me 9.4 meters so hence 9.4 meters is um, the distance from the image to mr roland's eye you can just say it's two times the distance two times this that would be correct but i'm trying to use this illustration so that you get the concept properly so maybe 9.4 that's option a that's your answer all right let's look at another question again all right so this question says determine the focal length of a thin converging lens if the path is 5.0 diopter all right so let's get the solution what am i giving there list out the parameter i'm giving the same path okay the path p is equal to 5.0 delta capital d all right find the focal length um what do we do so we have to find focal length is unknown f is unknown what do we know recall something recall that we said p is equal to the inverse of the focal length so i'm saying that five is equal to one all over the focal length cross multiply this and this 5f is equal to 1 times 1 that's 1 so f is equal to divide this side by 5 uh, divide here by 5 divide here by 5 this cancels this so f is equal to 1 over 5 of course in centimeters so if you focus um, your length and centimeters 1 over one 5 in this is um, 0.2 cm so this becomes the value of the focal length 0.2 centimeters and that's um, that's um, option b so i they use centimeters it will be centimeters but whichever way um, 0 0.2 that's the option okay so another question here says the distance between the image and the object of a plane mirror is 40 centimeters. If the distance of the object is reduced by 9.2 centimeters, what is the distance of the object from the mirror? All right, so when it comes to, now this question is also on plane mirrors. When it comes to plane mirror, I do recommend using diagrams, all right? Using diagrams helps you better illustrate or perhaps gives you a clearer picture of um, the scenario right of the question so let's look at this it says this time between the image and the object so first things first i'll get my plane view here this is my plane view here of course this is my imaginary ground this here is my image or is the image there uh, this here is the object is the object now it says distance between the in, uh, between the image and the object in the plane mirror is 40 cm so between the image here and the object here is 40 cm so i'm having 40 cm all right so i have this if this is 40 cm we know fully well that from here to here the plane mirror should be 20 cm which is 20 cm and also from here to here should be another 20 cm because of this condition for a plane mirror. All right, so next up it says, if the distance of the object is reduced by 9.2 cm, distance of the object is reduced by 9.2 cm. So the question is this, how do I reduce the distance? If my distance is from here to here, how do I reduce the distance? The idea is simple. If I have to reduce this distance, it means I have to bring this object closer here. If I bring my object closer here, the distance reduces. So bring this closer here to this point. So my object is now here. So let me call this O2. 
um, making it smaller. Okay, I'll start with Zimba. So this is now O2 here. They said it's reduced by 9.2 cm. So here is 9.2 um, in cm. Okay. So this is 9.2 cm. The object has been reduced. The, the distance of the object has been reduced by 9.2 cm. Question. What's the distance from here to here? Now, I know that from here, look at this. I know that from here to here is 20. And from here to here is 9.2. This distance, let's call this x per se. So I'll have that 9.2 plus x is equal to from here to here, which is 20. Okay, so let's get x. So x is equal to 20 minus 9.2. This will give you 10.8 cf. All right. So that gives you 9 point and 10 point is here. So um, if the object comes closer this way, obviously for a plane mirror, as the object is moving closer, the image also move by equal amount. So the image will also move closer here, somewhere here, such that distance from here to here will also be 9.2 in centimeters. So hence here to here will also be 10.8 cm just as x here is 10.8 cm now they said the question here said what is the distance of the object from the mirror distance between the object and the mirror that should now be between here this is the object and this is the mirror so distance between the object here and mirror becomes 10.8 in centimeters. So the question says, what is the distance of the object from the mirror? So hence, distance of the object from the mirror becomes 10.8. So therefore, distance of object from mirror is equal to 10.8 centimeters. All right, so uh, that's your distance. That's your distance. So let's look at this question. It says, uh, if a convex lens or focal length 12 cm is used to produce a real image four times the size of the object, how far from the lens must the object be placed? All right, so solution. Let's do start. Or random chance. Um, number one, it says, or let's just start giving parameters. It says number one, if a convex lens, no, notice it says convex, convex. If a convex lens or focal lens, so focal lens f is equal to 12 cm, is used to produce a real image four times the size of the object. Now, what does this mean? This means magnification. So please notice, whenever you see an image four times this, three times this, half of this, it means magnification. So magnification by two, the magnification m is equal to, they say four times becomes four. If they say three times, it's three. If they say half becomes one over two or 0 0.5, just like that. Now they said, how far from the lens must the object be placed? must the object be placed. So the object distance is unknown. All right, object distance is unknown. But let's find the value of um, u. All right, let's start this place. Um, for this, we know that from the mirror equation, one over f is equal to one over u plus one over v. Now this is a convex mirror as stated in the question to becomes a minus v in which this now becomes negative for a convex mirror. Now, next up, we have F, okay? We have to find U. When it comes to maths, we need to have at least two, the value of two variables, or two unknown, before we can find one. There's no way we can find U if we have only F. What about V, how we solve V? So the question is, can we get a relationship between U and V? Is it possible? Um, yes, how? Recall, now we said magnification m is equal to v all over u 
and this is equal to what then? 4. So we're saying that V over U is equal to 4 over 1. If I cross multiply, V times 1 is V is equal to 4 times U is 4U. So I have this. So therefore, my new equation 1 over F is equal to 1 over U minus 1 over V. Why? It's a convex lens. And for a convex lens, we said a virtual image, which cannot be formed on screen, uh, is formed. Or which cannot be caught on screen, is formed. So hence, it becomes negative. If I include values, 1 all over f is uh, 12, 1 over 12 is equal to 1 over u minus 1 all over v, we said is 4u. So what about 4u? So I have this. So I have to solve these two equations. I will have to solve this equation. So I have that 1 all over 12 is equal to LCM of u and 4u. I have u, I have 4u. If I bring up 4, um, here becomes u. 4 cancels 4, I have u. Bring up u, this 1, 1. So my LCM is 4 times u, that's 4u. LCM is 4u. Next up, 4u divided by 4u, sorry, 4u divided by u. So I'm having 4u all over u. u cancels u, I have 4. So it becomes 4 times 1, that's 4, minus 4u divided by 4u gives you 1. 1 times 1 is 1, so I have this. Alright, if I proceed here, I'm having 1 over 12 is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3 over 4u. Cross multiply, this times this, 1 times 4u is 4u is equal to this times this, 3 times 12. So I have that 4u is equal to what? Um, 36. So if I divide through, divide here by 4, divide here by 4, u is equal to 36 over 4. So u is equal to what? 9 cm. Because 36 over 4 gives you 9. So that's the value of the object um, distance. Alright. Um, this question says, an object of height, 4 cm, is placed in front of a cuboid pinhole camera of size, 6 cm. If the image formed is 2 cm, 2 cm high, how far is the object from the pinhole? All right, let's get this solved. Oh, solution. All I have is to list out given parameters. Given parameters number one, they said an object of height, 4 cm. So number one, height of object, so H0 is equal to 4 cm. Number two, they said is placed in front of a cuboid pinhole camera of size 6 cm. We've said that the size of um, the pinhole camera is the same thing as the image distance. So hence, I'm giving image distance, which is V, to be equal to 6 cm. Next up, they said, if the image formed is 2 cm high, so height of image, I'm calling HI, height of image, is 2 cm. They said, image formed, is 2 cm high. How far is the object from the pinhole? Number 4. U, object distance, is unknown. How far is the object from the pinhole? Alright? That's the object distance. So, how do we solve this? Um, everything here is in cm, so I'm not conversing. Now, here's how you solve this question. Recall that we said magnification is equal to height of image all over height of object at the same time equal to image distance all over object distance. So I can just simply pick out this formula and use. So recall, recall that height of image all over height of object is equal to image distance all over object distance. Alright, um, impute value, this value height of image is 2 all over height of object is 4 is equal to V, the image distance is 6 all over U, height and the object distance, we don't know. So let's get this done. If I cross multiply, 2 times U is equal to 4 times 6. 
So 2 times u is 2u equal to 4 times 6 is 24. To get u divided by 2, divided by 2, this cancels this. So u is equal to 24 all over 2. u is equal to 12 in cm. Hence, the object is 12 cm from the pinhole. So that's how you solve this question. So the answer is option C. 12.0 centimeters. Alright, so let's solve another question. It says an object of height 5 cm is placed at 20 cm from a concave mirror of focal length 10 cm. The height of the image height is. Alright, so let's sure. Of course, we we'll start by listing out a given parameter so we can know. What to tackle first? It says an object of height 5 cm. So number one, height of object, which you, which you said is h naught, height of object is 5 cm. Okay, is placed at 20 cm. What is placed at 20 cm from a concave mirror? What is placed at 20 cm from a concave mirror? It's the object. It said an object of height 5 cm is placed. So the object is placed at 20 cm. So that means the object distance, number two, object distance, that's u, is equal to 20 cm. Next up, we said from a concave mirror of focal length 10 cm. Number three, the focal length f is equal to 10 cm. The image height is dash, number four, height of image, hr, is unknown. All right. Height of object 5 cm. Uh, distance of the object is 20 cm. Focal length of the, the, plane, the focal length of the concave mirror is 10 cm. What is the height of the image? Uh, for this, for this, now this is how we go about solving this. Uh, let's let's first of all find magnification. To get magnification is m equal to v over u equal to hi over h naught. So let's get the value of v and u. There's just u. Let's find v. For this, if I use the mirror equation, if I use the mirror equation, I have that um, 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v. This is for a concave. They said concave. So I can use this one here. Alright, so if we solve this, I will have that 1 all over f is 10, 1 over 10 is equal to 1 all over u is 20 plus 1 all over v. So let's find the value of v. This man comes here, I have 1 over 10 minus 1 over 20 is equal to 1 over v. If I take the LCM of 10 and 20, the LCM here is 20. 20 over 10 is 2 times 1 is 2 minus 20 over 20 is 1 times 1 is 1. That's equal to 1 over v. So I have this. Alright, proceeding further, I have 1 all over 20 is equal to 1 over v. From here, v is just 20. But still, you can say cross multiplying. v times 1 is v equal to 20 times 1. 20 cm. So V is 20 cm. So from here now, let's from here let's get the magnification. Alright, so we know that magnification, but magnification M is equal to V all over U and that's equal to V is 20 in cm all over u is 20 in cm so this cancels this so i have that n is equal to 20 over 20 gives you one so i have magnification as one we have to find the height of the image all right for this for this um also in terms of image height and object height, we have that magnification is equal to height of image all over height of object. So 1 
is equal to height of image is um, we don't know so height of image all over height of object is five so i have five here yeah? of course this is over one so if we cross multiply this times this hr is equal to five times one is five cm so therefore the height of the image is five cm uh, that's option d there five cm this is how you solve this question all right, so let's look at this question. This question says, convex mirrors are used as driving mirrors because images formed are dash. Uh, uh, let's not go too far. We said images formed by convex mirror are usually what there? Erect, virtual, and what again there? Diminished. So the answer is option A. This question says, a person approaches a plane mirror at five meters per second. How fast do they approach the mirror image? The answer has to also be what there? 5 meters per second. Of course, for a plane mirror, we say the object is at equal distance to the mirror as the image is from the mirror. Okay? So if, if the object is coming towards the mirror, yeah, that's approaching the mirror at 5 meters per second, the image also approaches the mirror at the same speed or perhaps the same velocity. So the answer there is 5 meters per second. All right, um, let's look at yet another question. This question says, the magnification of an object 2 cm tall, when placed 10 cm in front, that should be front, of a plane mirror is dash. Now, here's what we have. Um, for a plane mirror, we know that the um, image distance is equal to the object distance, as we said, countless times for a plane mirror like this so the image distance i from here to here is equal to the object distance here to here from the mirror it's always this way so we know this now the axis you said um the magnification of an object 2 cm tall what am i giving I'm giving height of object HO as being 2 cm. They said one place 10 cm in front, please not from front of a plane mirror. So the object distance U is 10 cm. So the object is placed 10 cm from a plane mirror. So I'm having this. The axis of magnification. Now we know that magnification M is equal to height of image all over height of object. Do I have high height of object? Yes. Do I have height of image? I don't. So perhaps let's look for an alternative formula for magnification. N we said is equal to what there? V all over U. Do I have the value of U, the object distance? Yes, that's 10. Do, were we given the, the value of the image distance? No. But can we find it? Yes. How? We know that. For a plane mirror, that the object distance from the mirror U is the same thing as the image distance from the mirror V. So hence U is equal to V, or perhaps V is equal to U. So that means the magnification M is equal to V. V is equal as U becomes U over U. This here one, this here one. So the magnification is equal to one over one, and that's equal to what there one. So please take note. The magnification of a plane mirror is always one. Please note. Notice that the magnification of a plane mirror is always in quotes always one. This is because for a plane mirror, the image distance is always equal to the object distance. So they are always equal. Hence, they will cancel out. So it gives you what? So please note uh, this idea that the magnification of a plane mirror is always um, one. All right. So let's look at our final question on um, this topic. It says a pinhole camera is placed 300 meters in front of a building okay 
so that the image is formed on a screen 5 cm from the pinhole. If the image is 2.5 cm high, the height of the building will be. Alright, so solution. Let's list out given parameters. So given. It says a pinhole camera is placed 300 meters in front of a building. So distance between the building, which is the object, and the pinhole camera is 300 meters. So given number one, object distance u is equal to 300 meters. Okay. So convert this to centimeters to give you three centimeters. So it's as easy as. Uh, dividing by 100. So if I divide 300 by 100, I'll get 3 centimeters. Alright, so number 2, we said so that the image is formed on a screen 5 cm from the pinhole. So the image distance is 5 cm. So image distance V. So the image is formed at 5 cm from the pinhole. So I have this. Um, if the image is 2.5 cm high, so number 3, height of image. Okay, height of image is equal to 2.5 cm high. The height of the building will be, so the building we said is the object. Number 4, height of object will be unknown. Um, how do we solve this? Of course, we're using the magnification concept that we say M is equal to height of image all over height of object equal to image distance all over object distance so using this equation height of image is 2.5 so 2.5 all over height of object we do not know yet is equal to v uh, image distance 5 all over object distance 3 from here if i cross multiply this and this so 5 times height of object is equal to 3 times 2.5. So we have this. Alright, if we multiply this and having 5 times height of object is equal to multiply this, this gives you uh, 7.5 in value. That means the height of the object, which is equal to the height of the building, is equal to 7.5 all over 5. Let's get this done. 7.5 all over 5. So we have 7.5 over 5. That is height of object is equal to 1.5, of course, in CM. Alright, so this is what we have. If you try to, if you look at the options, the options there are in meters. So let's try to convert to meters. So H naught. To convert from CM to meters, uh, multiply. By 100. To convert from meters to centimeters, divide by 100. To convert from cm to meters, multiply by 100. It so becomes 1.5 times 100. So height of the object is equal to 150, 150 in meters. Hence, the height of the building is 150 meters and that is the that is option d all right so this is as much as you can take for optics all right so whatever question you set you'll be given an optics in case of jam would somehow revolve around all we've done so far all right so see you in our next class